Hi, uh, my name is Rebecca, and my idea um, was based off of these pictures that I have on my Pinterest. Um, first of all, I really wanted to work on my materials, so I chose this picture. Um, Cecilia actually posted this first, but I wanted to work with concrete, but um, not smooth, but rough. And I also liked how there were variations um, in the levels here that aren't necessarily like um, uniform throughout the whole triangle. And I also thought it was really interesting in, up in this corner um, how they filled these triangles up with water, and this occurs naturally. Um, so I just thought that was kind of interesting to incorporate. Um, I also kind of wanted to put it into like a dry, arid setting as a contrast, because uh, I was thinking more of something based off of a water feature, kind of like a water fountain, but um, trying to figure out ways to make it interactive. So this was my ideal setting here. Also from this picture down here, I saw that using sunlight, you can find contrasts between the triangles here that are um, in the sun and the triangles that are deeper in the shade. So what I have created in Rhino so far is my plane shape and I just extruded the sides a little bit. And um, what I've been doing so far is breaking down my, uh, sorry, my surfaces into smaller triangles, which I can vary the height of, like I've done here. Sorry. Um, what I was hoping to do was have pumps throughout these triangles here. So they would fill up with water and they would fall down into these crevices here and into the next um, level of um, material. And that's my idea. Thank you.